Yes! Aye, 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 aye! <laughs> oh, crikey! You're a little boy, one. You're a little boy. I see you. Oi, 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 oi. How's that for a defensive? Hey, hey. Oh, wow, he's got a, oh, he's got a good whip. You've got a good whip, buddy. Very, very good. And that's strictly a defensive mechanism. He's tail whipping me. And that's great. He'll tail whip, he'll bite. He'll do anything he can to avoid getting eaten. Oh, I see how big your mouth is. It's a big beauty bonza mouth. Oh, I tell you what, he's got a great, really good bite. Have a look inside his mouth there. See that big, mmm, fleshy tongue? Hey, you're a little champion, aren't you? This is a little male. Easy to tell. Got the orange coloration on his legs. That big dewlap, look at that. Champion dewlap. And look at the coloration along the side of his head there. Look at that. Fantastic. Loaded with spines and spikes. Look at the orange color down through his spikes. And he's in pristine, oh shit. Beautiful green iguana. Rightio, mate. Hey, you got the best of both worlds here. You can make a run for it up there, or you can go in the water. Up to you. How's this? Ripples on the surface. It's a snake. This is one of the most feared reptiles in the whole of Central America. Turtle ants. Oh, have a look at this. What a champion. Let me get out of this floating machine so as I can talk about this. What a little beauty. This is one of the primary reasons that I've come to Belize. It's a hot spot for the fertile ants. This is only a baby. Have a look at that golden head. You can see why they call them lance heads. Have a go at that. All about understanding your parameters. There's no way I would try and touch this snake. Too quick, hit too hard and fast. He'd get back up over. Oh no, not in your canoe. Please don't go in my canoe. Yeah, come on me backpack. If he gets down inside that canoe, I'd never get him out. Have a look at this. They don't like to get, not in me canoe, not in me canoe. That's it, go over me backpack. There's a good little snake. Oh no. I tell you what, I'm gonna let this little bloke back out on his way. You wanna cross the river, mate? That's good by me. Come on then, out of me canoe, out of me canoe. There you go, buddy. Beautiful yellow head. Go for your life, young fella. Some of this area was once the site of an ancient Mayan city with literally thousands of people, but now swallowed up by the jungle without a trace. You'd hardly know it. Nature has taken it back completely, and now there is only wildlife wandering around these ancient riverbanks. Coral snake, I think. Might even be a false coral snake. There's these coral snakes that actually mimic coral snakes. Oh, here he is, here he is, here he is. Hey, it's all right, it's all right. You're all right. You're, it's okay, buddy, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Settle down now. Settle down. Here's a twig, get that. Woo, he's whipping all over the place. There we go, there's a good little coral snake. Hey, you're all right, fella, you're all right. Oh, he's gonna bite too. And I wouldn't want to take a hit off a snake, even this little one here. He'd have enough venom to kill me because he's in a lapid. He's not a viper. He's actually in a lapid. He's a front fanged venomous snake. And uh, he'll nail you. Ah, I hate little snakes. They're so hard to handle. Woo, woo, woo. Settle down, buddy. Settle down. Grab that tree. There's a good boy. There's my boy. There's my boy. Settle down now. He's not going to settle down. I'm going to have to let him go. But there you go. Look at that red, black, and yellow bands. Way you go, leaf litter specialist, back into your leaf litter. The Belizean rainforests are home to at least six species listed as threatened with extinction by the United Nations. So it is important to hang on to as much remote wilderness as possible. This is an absolutely glorious chunk of rainforest. It's a closed ecosystem where every plant and creature is part of a complex web of survival. Whoa, it's okay, buddy. Have a go at this bloke. Now this is a male, what I'm gonna call an orange 
bottom tarantula. Check out those beautiful orange hairs on his bottom. And he's agitated. And he's jumping all over the paddock. Can't allow him to jump too high because they will actually hurt themselves. Woo, he's active. Come here, buddy. Come on, mate. He's going to keep moving. He's on the move, this bloke. There we go. So you can see his fangs. When he comes up, he probably won't stop moving. Each time I breathe, that's when he gets agitated. Now, I can't afford to drop him from this height because it would cause him harm. It would probably um, hurt him, maybe even lose one of his legs. Whew, beautiful spider, and he's on the hunt. He's on the move. Whether he'd be looking for uh, food or for girls, I'm not 100% sure. There we go. There you go. One thing is for sure, this place literally crawls with wildlife. Every time you turn a corner, bang, it's something else. And one thing's for sure, I can't resist a challenge. Whammo, in he goes, I'm going in after him. They reckon iguanas can swim like crocodiles. Well, here's me chance to find out. Have a go at that. Plods along the bottom, just like a croc would. Got its eyes open, strong tail, and easy to catch. Here she is. <laughs> They're good climbers. Have a look at that. Now that's a full grown adult female. Spores aren't real big back there. Oh, you've hardly got any, babe. And have a look at her dewlap. Not much of a dewlap there either, sweetheart. You've got a bit of a flap there, but not too much. She's actually regenerated her tail. That's a new section of tail. The iguanas, if they get grabbed by the tail, they'll struggle, it'll drop. The, the predator or, or the other iguana they're fighting with it left with that tail and they're able to get away. I wouldn't mind betting that she's been in a scuffle with another female over territory. Hey, babe, is that it? You have got the prettiest face. You're gorgeous, babe. Okay, let's go back up here in your tree, will we? See you, mate. The river cuts the McCall Valley in two, and you'll spot a lot of wildlife crossing the water day and night looking for food. And that includes the most dangerous snake in Central America. If the bite doesn't kill you, necrosis will rot away your flesh right down to the bone. Here's the fur, Here's what I've come to see. What an absolute ripper. Steady, mate, steady. Steady, mate, steady, steady, steady. Steady, mate. Steady. Steady, mate. Steady, steady, steady. You're all right. You're all right. Steady. No death rolls, no death rolls. Here, get me paddle. Get me paddle. Hold, hold, hold. Get on me paddle, buddy. On me paddle. There's a snake. There's a good snake. Have a look at this. Five footer. Fertile ants. Here's the most. Dangerous snake in the entire region. The fertile ant, or Tommy Goff, is super dangerous, causes more fatalities, mutilations, and amputations than any other species. Settle, mate. Here's why they're dangerous they can get up their own body, extremely aggressive. Really? I'm gonna have to go the other end. There you go, bud. There we are. There we are now. There we are. I'm shaking, mate. I am so, so fearful. And see why they call them lance heads, can't you? Beautiful, big lance head. Huge, great venom glands. This guy would have such a venom yield, it'd knock you, mate. It'd knock you in hours. Hematoxin. Got his forked tongue going. Swim like blazes. Climb trees. Handle habitat destruction. Rats, mate. They love to eat rats. Have a go at that. All right. My time's up. I'm just going to let him on his way. There he is. Have a go at the way they swim. Check that out. He's heading over here. What a huge animal and danger. You'll never see a more dangerous encounter.